Well, welcome to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. What a lineup we have for you today. Lucia Zagumis joins us on the show. We're going to be talking some fabulous gift ideas. Mary Taggart, editor-in-chief of Ottawa at Home Magazine, talking about their holiday issue. Chris McCool from the Sultans of String. We'll be chatting about their Christmas concert, but we start with Mom in the Know, Julie Finley, with some fantastic recipe ideas for the holidays. How are you, Julie? I'm so good. How are you? I'm doing fantastic. First snowfall? Pretty, pretty much the first major snowfall so far. I, I, how are you guys making out there? You know what? I think I got a little too excited. And then when they said snow day, my kids were like, Mom, we don't do that anymore. We're in high school. So I got in the kitchen myself. Nice. <laughs> and uh, yeah, just coming up with a couple of recipes for the holidays, whether we're able to entertain, whether we're going to drop off to friends and neighbors, or whether we're just going to spruce it up for whoever's in the home. So I've got two fun recipes. I've got uh, meatballs with a spicy spaghetti uh, pasta sauce, okay. or a mulled apple and parsnip shooters. Oh, or we're turn that into a soup that we're going to Very drop interesting. Off okay. So I'm gonna just, yeah, I'm going to start off with the parsnip mulled apple soup. Okay. And so parsnips, as everybody knows. Are these little white guys are always left a little alone in the grocery store. They shouldn't they be. They are local. They are delicious. Oh, I know. They're so delicious. They're kind of nutty, spicy. Exactly. Yeah. And they keep up into your fridge for up to three weeks. So these okay. are super versatile. And any soup or casserole, even shaved onto a salad. So there's lots of use for these guys. What I did ahead of time is I did a pound of them. I roasted them at 350 for about 20 minutes until they got soft. Okay. And they're just here, organized in there. And I've already uh, sauteed one onion for a little bit. I've taken one Ontario potato, big one, chopped it up, putting it in here. The other thing I'm really liking about holiday recipes is the spices that you're starting to add to it. Right. So for this one, we've got a teaspoon and a half of ginger and then a little bit of brown sugar to spice it up. And you stir that for a tiny bit. And then we're going to add two cloves of uh, Ontario garlic. So I, I did talk about garlic last time I was on, but That's that right. Dracula guy was not impressed with it. But <laughs> it was pretty fun. And <laughs> I remember that guy. Yeah, that guy that uh, filled in for me on Halloween. Yeah, he was. Um, he, I he know. I had no you. idea. Wow. Uh, oh, he did. Goes. He was yeah. a little mad. So you, <laughs> uh, garlic does last for a long time. So get that a staple in everyone's home. And now I've got three Ontario apples. I love Macintosh. That's always a staple in ours. Okay. There's so many varieties in Ontario. I put that in. I'm going to saute it. I've also got cinnamon, cardamom, and a pinch of allspice. And of course, all these recipes are on Foodland Ontario. I'm going to put that in. I'm going to put my parsnips in. So it's really just layering all these flavors. And of course, with every soup, it's a stock of your choice. So I've got a veggie stock here um, with all of the maybe the meats that you're making over the holidays. Yeah. You can make a stock from that. I've now got a half cup of apple cider. So that's oh, delicious. Nice. Another staple to have in. Yeah. I'm going to bring that to a boil for about 30 minutes. I'm going to bl blend it, puree it in patches, and then I'm going to add some cream, whipping cream to it, another one that you're going to have in your house. And then these are my little shooters. Or if you want to, I've been just grabbing any reusable thing that I've had. This is our eggnog that we've already had. I've now refilled it with the soup. Drop it off at a neighbor. Great idea. I so love that. And I love, I love I that you call them little shooters. I see the size of these things. So boy, oh boy, the parties <laughs> at your place get out of hand, Julie. My goodness. <laughs> you know what? It's probably something that I've been told. Oh, and then you can add a little bit of detail too. A little cinnamon stick or a little apple. Just nice. you know, so you slow down on that. The shooter part. All right, let's move um, on to and my uh, next recipe. Yeah, I was going to say, let's move on to your meatballs. Okay, my meatballs, fantastic. But one thing I wanted to say to everyone at home: if you've ever been intimidated by making a um, uh, sorry a tomato sauce, I'm going to make it super easy. Okay. First of all, you don't have to worry about it in season. Ontario has canned tomatoes, so this one you just look for Canada and it's Foodland Ontario, Stony Creek. I've added two cups, uh, two cans of this already with uh, two tablespoons of tomato sauce. And then again with the spices, I've got some cayenne, some oregano, chili peppers, salt and pepper. Nice. So I've actually, these are things that are always in your kitchen. I've divided them, I put half of the um, amount in here. And now what I'm gonna do is I've got ground turkey, but of course you could do ground beef or ground pork. I'm gonna add all those spices in. 
mix it in. I've also uh, pureed or crushed sort of four, um, sorry, garlic. I just love small garlic. Anyways, oh, no I kidding. Two cloves garlic here. pretty much garlic belongs in pretty much everything, wouldn't you say, Julie? It's so good. It's so good for you. So yeah, <laughs> it's great. Um, again with the meatballs, I've got a half cup of breadcrumbs. So I really inhaled the <laughs> garlic, I and I've got <laughs> a quarter cup of parsley, fresh parsley. Some people might have parsley already still from your garden. Yeah, and I think everybody's seen. There's a lot of opportunities to do gardens during the winter in a nice lit window, so a nice way to bring it in. I'm going to mix this all together. I've also got two uh, tablespoons of milk. And the other one little spice I added with that cayenne and um, pepper, salt, chili peppers, is a bit of cumin, so that earthy okay. taste to it. Nice. And then you just get fun and dirty. I love making meatballs. So this makes about 30 meatballs. You literally are putting them in the oven at 350 for about eight to 10 minutes until they're no longer pink inside. And then really just get a dish, um, a, like a fun dish from downstairs or anything you haven't used in a while. You've got two little meatballs, you put a ton of sauce on it, oh, and yeah. then you add a little crostini. And it's just a great little tapas. Or if you're heading outside or you're going to any one of the wonderful winter activities outside, you could just put that all in a thermos. Everybody could have their individual. Or again, if you want, you can jar it up. You can send it, put a little bow on top. This can be frozen, of course, so can the meatballs. Right. And it's just a nice way for yeah. people to enjoy the exactly. holidays. Exactly. Great ideas, Julie. Yeah, always yeah. a pleasure having you on the show. Really appreciate it. Happy holidays to you and your nice. family. Hey, don't go anywhere. Speaking of the holidays, have been a great Christmas concert. We'll talk to Chris McCool from the Sultans of String right after this.